so welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to start microsoft excel for beginners in this video we will mainly explain some intro of microsoft excel so it's an open when the target window is open for microsoft excel it's in this interface is shown when you will click on the microsoft excel if you have installed on your laptop when you will open microsoft excel here is an option of file there are many many uh, sub uh, uh, options like info new open save save as print share export publish close so we will open a new file simply click here and you will open that interface and uh, here after clicking that will open this sheet will be open to us so in home we will check out some various functions we will be explaining it in our new coming videos so here is a cut option this will be used to remove any selected portion in the grid second one is option of copy we will copy any text from already selected or pasted file similarly we can copy from here to another uh, place in our laptop we can copy pictures there is an option of paste whatever you will be copying we will paste here in this excel sheet and next one is uh, font this is a calibri font default by default selected you can select any font like arial black and arial bounded empty bold etc but we will prefer Calibri and Times Roman for our Excel Microsoft Excel purposes. So Times New Roman is selected. And this is the size of the text which we will we will be writing in our Excel sheet. Normally it is between 11 and 12. So from here this is an option to increase the size of your text or so you can make bigger your text and this is uh, we can decrease our font size by clicking this like and whichever thing we will be writing in our excel sheet we will just click and select this uh, box we will decrease our size of font Similarly, we can increase from this but by default it's actually between 10 to 12 or 11 to 12 is the normal size of the any number written in the excel sheet so next one is top align we can align any a number written in the box to right left or in between the box and next uh, in next is the middle one if we want to see our this box or if number or anything written in the box we will click this button to make this align in the middle of this text or we can use this one these these uh, lines show the same purpose of writing numbers or any words in excel so next one is the align alignment alignment portion in alignment portion we can move closer or farther our numbers written in the excel like if we click this one this will move towards left or right this one left or right if we want to move it on the right we will be clicking this one <clears throat> okay next one is wrap text when we will click wrap text like this one this wrap text will be used to ext uh, wrap extra long text into multiple lines so that you can see all of it you can see that if you have written microsoft excel in any box of the grid so this will this will make our already present uh, box will bigger with the extra its font and uh, this will make our row, uh, box of uh, excel in the larger size also next one is merge and center if we have if we are facing uh, combining uh, the contents of selected cells in a new larger cell then it will definitely create a label that spans multiple columns we will see we will be seeing in our next video 
how you can use this command merge and center and wrap and wrap text okay this this shows the decimal places of our uh, numbers written in the excel suppose if i divide 12 by 24 we have to place equal to sign first here then it will give us answer so i have obtained 0 0.5 but if we want to increase its decimal point we can use this command like this one this is increasing its decimal number but if we are want to decrease its decimal point then we can use this command also so if we want to insert any cells if we have made a column then we want to insert any extra column in them or extra rows we can use this insert command this will simply insert extra rows and columns or even it can insert an extra already present excel sheet in the uh, working excel by deleting we can delete cells, rows, sheets, etc. By formatting, we can adjust the row height of any column or any row or any box of Excel. Okay. Now we will see insert. In insert, we can use many uh, commands like we can place pictures, we can place or create a table like a table ex uh, table in form of rows and columns like we did in other for uh, for other purposes counting etc we can check uh, by clicking online pictures we can add some online pictures on the spot to our excel sheet so here comes the graphs we can make any graph of our desired preference like histogram bar charts insert a pie pie chart you can insert any chart like <clears throat> scatter charts next one is surface charts pivot charts pivot tables what we can make any uh, graph like by selecting from them we will simply give the data in the rows and columns on x-axis and y-axis and we will get uh, the desired charts location next one is pivot chart 3d map we can also check line column similarly other so this one is the main purpose text box when we will writing any text in the box we will use header and footer also for our report purposes and if we want to use any symbol like we use in mathematics we can use create any equation for our questions purposes or we can solve even questions on our excel sheets but if we are using symbol for any purpose for to, to donate anything like change in length delta any change we can use delta by selecting here submission integral sign there are number of signs uh, signs given here symbols given here we can use any one of them by selecting simply clicking the insert option here so we will cancel out here next one is the page layout layout we can use many uh, functions like themes for our selected window we will be using it our next videos and next one is colors we can use any one color customize we can customize any color by selecting a number of colors patterns like here you can see okay next one is page layout uh, margins we can select the margins of our document or the current section next one is the orientation what should be it portrait or landscape okay next one is print area setup set print area clear print area we can insert a page break also we can change the background of our by inserting online pictures okay but we will be seeing in our next videos we can adjust the column and width this is the second way first one was uh, this one we can adjust the header rows etc page layout we can print our area desired print sheet we will be seeing a separate video for that okay next one is uh, scale to adjust the scale our uh, working sheet next is bring forward this will 
by select uh, bring the selected object forward one level so that it's hidden behind fewer objects we can select number of objects then we can place one object on the front side then second one on its back side so it will create an image of that objects in a series send backward is an opposite of bring forward plane selection we can select any plane uh, then we can arrange it we will be seeing in our next videos align change the placement of your selected objects on the page this is a grid of aligning objects to the margin or the edge of the page you can also align them relative to another okay so in excel now i will be explaining what are rows and columns in the end of this video other features like formulas this is auto sum when we write any row or column we will add so we can sum them average them we can count them we can find maximum of, uh, of all the columns value we can find the minimum values by clicking on more functions we will get on the menu or other functions so these are other like text time date we can add in our sheet uh, basically this is an, a spreadsheet excel sheet microsoft excel sheet also called spreadsheet so next one is review by clicking on review we can find various other functions like we can add new comments translate this page we can check our spellings okay we by clicking on view we can change our documents in normal view we can add page break uh, view preview large page layout custom views etc we can zoom out our to our per required or desired percentage up to what extent we want to zoom out okay next one is split height these are all the minor functions which we will not be using in our basic purpose so these are all row columns in an excel and these are all rows like if we have selected this one this indicate all the rows in a two, number two row if we select all these lines these are columns and this a1 indicates its name box okay these are <coughs> some major or uh, not a detailed introduction but minor introduction of excel sheet so if we want to open any existing file we will click that open and we will open our temporary uh, file placed in an excel sheet if we want to save as we can save it uh, with any name we can print out or convert it into a pdf file we can share this with through email or any other extent any other form we can export publish close account options so this was all the some uh, short introduction of the we will be seeing next video the next uh, video we, we will be seeing the other features of the microsoft excel so that's all from this video